Welcome to TVFutures.com. It's Tuesday, December 11th. I'm Remy Hokey for Commodities Recap. NYMEX crude oil futures gained 2.5% to close above $90 a barrel. January crude added $2.16, closing out the session at $90.02 a barrel. Crude futures hit an intraday high of $90.55. And elsewhere on the NYMEX, January our bought gas to $2.29.14. A gallon. January heating oil gained 4.54 cents and $2.30 a gallon. The market now awaits tomorrow's EI petroleum inventory data. And January NAT gas futures added 8.5 cents on the session to close at $7.117 per million BTU. Over in the metals complex, gold futures declined after the regular session. The Fed rate cut came following the close, and precious metals all declined as the U.S. dollar traded up against the high yielding currencies. February gold fell under $800 an ounce in aftermarket electronic trade after settling at 817.10 in the regular session. This afternoon, we're joined by Bobby Firestone, analyst at Aileron Trading. He'll recap the session following the uh, Fed rate announcement this afternoon. Well, happy Fed Day, everyone. We've had some exciting trading in the last couple hours of the day. Now, we're going to kick off with, since it's Fed Day, inflation. Gold. Gold slid from the Fed coming out. Traditionally speaking, you'd expect to see Fed rate cut gold to go higher on the idea that they aren't going to be defending against inflation. Uh, contrary to popular opinion, um, the entire quarter point was has been baked in for the last week, and it's been getting supported. So going into it, everyone knew what was going to happen and trade accordingly, so it had nowhere to go but down. Secondly, the Fed statements for... And for being on cut number three in four months, were actually rather moderate. They weren't they weren't swinging to the idea that they're going to be making further cuts in the future, moderate growth. So if they stay where as is, gold has a chance to to kind of find a, find some support and just really churn back and forth until we get a clear picture on where the economy stands. Over in the energies, well. What can you say other than it's range bound? We're seeing the market sell in the low, sell when it gets 90 or 91. We're seeing buyers come in 85, 86, 87. So we have to look forward to inventory reports. Uh, inventory reports on last week was a big surprise. This week, I'd be and I'd be shocked if we saw another another inventory report surprise. But hey, you never know what these with the inventory report. So keep an eye out there. Otherwise, just look to see it continue to stabilize and try and identify the top and the bottom of this range. That was Bobby Firestone, analyst at Aleron Trading, with his commodities commentary. I'm Remy Hokey. Join us later for PM Exchange right here on etvfutures.com.